I'm stuck on buffering, and I think it's because my computer is going to explode. Probably. Yeah, it's it's. If you a look at some of the Wait, design involved right in our upcoming boss dungeon, there's the Sanctum of Rebirth, and we're going to ask for your feedback on certain elements of it. Uh, and this is going to help us shape the, the development, and obviously make sure we're making decisions that Wait, are really exciting and really uh, right to you as players. This isn't the usual okay, reveal stream we're fine. We're from fine. us. Okay. Like this is new for us. We don't normally do this. That means uh, just to set some expectations. This isn't going to be like a full fat content wide look at the content today. This is still in development, right? We're bringing you into this, uh, and we're also focusing in Aww. on areas that we think are most important to share in development, to, to where a player's perspective can have Does... the most impact. And importance. Wait, so I just realized you're going to Maria... see some things today that are most relevant to that. Uh, <laughs> Band of the guy we'll reason to release, which is a bit more traditional. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh... Let's introduce some of the folks behind the Sanctum of Rebirth. Uh, for this project, allow me to welcome back the regular faces first, who joined us last week, of Mod Sponge. Hello. Uh, I don't know what that Mod was. Ryan. That's the thing now. Hello. Apparently you're getting it on. And then uh, also, Mod Pigeon. Hello, Mod Pigeon. Hello. <laughs> Why is um, Huli talking to Mod Pigeon like he's well, like a so small child? Hello, Hello, Mod and Pigeon. All things I mean, Rebirth. he's so, the junior right, content. I guess he's so, like yeah, the new he guy. Yeah, he was a small <laughs> child. <laughs> uh, some, <laughs> some people it's may have been like, so demeaning. with us for the roadmap stream last week. But just in case people didn't catch it or maybe are forgetting, um, can you first give us a quick overview of what is the Sanctum of Rebirth? Um, That's for you, Sponge or Pigeon. Oh, One of you can well, cover that. Um, uh, okay, Mod Ryan um, is so loud. Yeah, I'll find out it. Damn, damn streaming services. Um, so the Sanctum of Rebirth, um, it is a um, what we're calling a boss dungeon, I think, at the moment. Um, I think that's boss the dungeon. Progress name for it. Um, essentially, it's a piece of combat Dungeoneering. Content, um, where you'll fight multiple bosses, essentially in a row. Um, like an elite dungeon, but once you've kind of control it, deleted the, the, the trash in between. Um, yeah, that's the highest level possible description of what the Sanctum is. It is. It's probably. And I... oh, sorry, I'm going to add, I will add, because it's probably oh, worth mentioning the Sanctum of Rebirth is I've got the, bug fill. the whole that's why. building. Okay. But we specifically are entering part of it for what we are currently the same name. It's called Sanctum. Rebirth as the the dungeon name, but yeah. So it's just very worth mentioning that the dungeon is part of the place. Um, lore. We can obviously talk about lore. it later, but it does mean Sanctum of Rebirth for more than just this piece. Of lore. Lore I'm drop. Already dropping teasers. Uh, this is how this is going to go. This is what happens when we go in development. So yeah. Um, so who is this content for? Like, if you're watching this and you're kind of a PVM noob and you're kind of... I swear, level, if they say this is for mid-level PVMers, right now, is the hardcore I'm just going to close the stream. Um, it so we're tier looking 95. primarily towards the mid to high-end players. So no, no. Get the frick out dungeons, of here, mid. Everyone to get no mid-level so, drop. Speaking, if you've not yet no mid-level boss should um, drop the highest tier freaking one in orb. That doesn't make any sense. We can talk about that a bit later. Mid to high, okay. I, I, I'm hoping I that like, when they say mid to high, they mean it's leaning about, much more towards the high, content? not what are we the mid. To, what do we want this because that's what they did with, the with Raziel. Raziel is literally one of the easiest bosses they've released in years, and it just drops tier 95. It just it just freaking um, broke yeah, the so, game, just like freaking sorry, yeah, all of Necromancy did. Um, yeah, so it's, it's ultimately... Um, it's progressing the game in in a direction that we've like learned a lot from. Um, as we will go into detail in a minute, we'll start talking about some of the stuff we've learned with recent boss encounters, um, or just recent combat in general. So obviously, combat right. modernization. What, what'd you learn, Ryan? What'd you and learn? We know as players, you want more boss encounters. Yep. Um, we also know, depending on the player type, the types of boss encounters you want. Like there are players out there who want like the super hard, the really high enraged content. Um, for what it's worth, that is not this. Um, you can talk about. But, yeah, we know that there are different audience types, so. We're kind of like trying to find a way to. We know we understand that elite dungeons were a really cool concept. Um, there are a lot of in, they are engaged with quite. Ryan, you um, gonna talk highly, about the, also, the, the all we've seen all the, the group years, members that left like, the game? Oh, I wouldn't mind doing elite dungeons if I don't have to keep running the dungeon. Uh, similarly, things like oh, I'd love to just fight the bosses. Um, we learned a lot with Zamorak, right? When we when we changed it so you could fight Zamorak. Um, so I guess 
the short answer is because I don't give short answers usually. Um, the short answer is going forward, we're just trying to, we want to test a few new things, give you the boss encounters you want, give you new rewards. Um, and as I say, learning from previous releases, um, not just the, like recent ones like Vorkaf and um, and like Raziao, etc., but going as far back as, as we see, the, uh, see it fitted, fitting. Um, yeah, that's kind of the short answer. Okay, they talk nothing about... By the way, uh, chat, get used nothing to... Nothing about group We haven't nice. scripted this. We have a rough outline of what we want to take you through today. But uh, this is meant to be a more casual stream, so bear with us on that. Uh, we'll get used to it. Um, uh, I'm going to start trying to do, have a beeswax moment or something like that. Um, if, if we keep having them, see if I can fill the time. Uh, right, anyway, uh, getting off topic. We are here to talk about um, some specific areas of Sanctum. So we kind of set up a little bit about what it is difficulty levels, you know, group content, um, this kind of boss to boss to boss kind of mini, like kind of, you know, filler cut uh, elite uh, elite dungeon take, oh, sorry. now known as a boss dungeon. I was looking at my so let's game. talk about the first thing I know Make you're sure keen to cover out. today. A proposal around the death system for normal mode. Firstly, what is huh? this proposal that we want to run past? Are you just going to remove dying? Sweet. Yeah, I will cover that if that's all right. Sponge pigeon. Um, yeah, so if you've ever spoken to me before, you've probably heard me talk about this, but um, RuneScape um, has one of these, uh, I wouldn't say problems, but um, if you engage in any content and you die, um, you have a lot of like negative backwards progression. Right? All right, we um, did talk about this in our combat discussion, that the death system should just be completely you die, changed, you probably just removed. death costs, you go back. Um, this is okay for some players. Players are used to this. They like the challenge. They like to get through it. Um, but equally on the flip side, there are plenty of players who do this, hit the wall, and then don't go back at all. And they just disengage with the encounter entirely. Um, this also can have a knock-on effect of disengaging in not just that encounter, but any other encounters. Um, so we want to try, like, change the norm for, like, how death works. Um, using this example, this content as an example. And we want to explore possible options of things like um, normal mode. Um, if you die, maybe potentially you just fall over. You know, you're in a down state for... However long, let's say 15 seconds, just as an example, um, before you stand back up. So it's essentially what? for respawn time. Um, Are you guys hearing this? So what does this mean? Um, no, it basically means, the is there a version where normal mode is essentially, you sucks. will get through it, but it will Don't take longer for you. sure. Penalized, should I say, oh. by your downtime. Um, Bro, being quite they just said down. in normal mode, if you um, die, you uh, don't you even die. You so just fall over and come back after 15 seconds. Your average player might take 10 minutes to do the fight. Uh, because they were downed, let's for argument's sake, 20 times. Huh. Um, but your good player gets through it in, say, two minutes. Um, so it changes this idea that um, encounters are only for the people who are really good. Instead, it's the encounters are for everyone, but the time investment is different. Um, that's kind of a that's, short answer. Wait, what? Um, I don't know okay, if anyone else wants that, to add to that, that I breaks so many, like, freaking existing yeah, barriers that... that RS functions. I guess on. one question that will come straight in for for chat, and I'm seeing a lot of Wait, opinions no, on it. The suggestion I saw so when you get down, make the boss Fortnite emote mode, over your dead body. Oh my god! But what if only one person so, gets down? What he just still Fortnite dancing to everyone else? Can still go on, but he's still Fortnite dancing on the one person. There's a whole range. Like we can talk about normal mode, hard mode, story mode. Some people will say like challenge modes. There's loads of different concepts of modes. Um, because I think like the idea would be these mechanics. How does can, this make any sense? Uh, push and pull if them, however we like. So normal mode is very the, forgiving. The, the idea boss is must be very it, simple for that mechanic to make um, sense. We could make because that doesn't make no any sense for a boss like Virago, right? Option. Like how how can you be down when he pushes you off the edge on the last like phase? That. that doesn't there, make any sense. Like I can't. That doesn't work. maybe going So the boss must be super simple. Using the example right now. At the moment, we are only talking about normal mode, but it doesn't mean we couldn't make hard mode but, happen I don't know. one I'll, 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 or one I'll, life. I'll keep listening. Um, or longer I'll respawn see what they, time. Loads of different conversations. What, what they're, what they're uh, because do it does it. open up room for like challenge modes, which are nothing. You know, it's permanent. You're dead. You're dead. You're out. Um, but that's just an example. Yeah. So we are only talking about normal mode right now for reference um, <laughs> to everyone. Um, hard mode would be exactly raids. what you expect in the live game right now. <laughs> is that is that um, what it is? I, I don't know idea. Yeah. Destiny 2 is like a I, joke. I, I have a few questions on this joke. that um, uh, 
kind of to dig yeah. into this but there's some coming through from chat i just want to bring in we want this to uh, another thing about these streams is we're going to try instead of saving all the questions at the end we want them to be a little bit more back and forth we've got to keep some flow going you know we've got things to get through but we do want to try and bring more of your conversation as we go so bear with us um this question here do we have any thoughts on um at this stage of the design kind of would it affect the reward system would there be any impact to getting downed versus a, a kind of an immaculate clear anything anything we're i'm surprised at like how that. many people are negatively well, responding today. to this um have we been thinking about that <laughs> imagine falling down virago virago starts jumping on that's... your body <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, I mean that's something yeah yeah where if, if it was a mechanic in hard mode it'd be more likely i don't think that's a likely thing that we'd want to explore for normal mode um when we're trying to make it easier to get into uh remove the kind of the barriers from from getting players to start doing combat um it doesn't really make I, sense i'm actually very a, fine uh, with this mechanic you fucked it up like you every get I, for it properly i think so in chat the, the, like i think the loop, overwhelming right? response is um, negative towards this like so far i don't think it makes too much sense um Especially because they're just like all oh, like cheesy and well. whatever, like hardcore um, and stuff. I don't know what they're gonna do with the hardcore. Yeah, stuff, my gut instinct. I think if it's be, implemented, it would just be the punishment is that you've been down for an extra fifteen seconds, an extra thirty seconds. How many times you've been downed? You've, you've just been sat there. You've not been killing the boss, right? Um, so a good player is gonna kill the boss, say thirty times an hour, purely hypothetical. Whereas you've only killed it ten times in an hour. Yeah, and, and if and if you've been down um, like. You could just make it more punishing every time you get down, and to, to, to the point where you just like can't even kill the boss anyways, right? So it's the same thing as if you just yeah, died. I mean, inherently. So um, I don't I think it's actually that yeah, bad. Elaborating on but the said, problem that I'm having with this is isn't this problem that everyone else is having is with it. The problem I'm having with this um, is that the no, down I mechanic. Know, of course, I don't know our demographic. Sorry, our audience in the Twitch chat, but implies um, that there's every, like great player out there that there's not like complicated mechanics in the boss itself, such as all these like DPS checks, mini DPS checks, and stuff. Because it just doesn't make sense. Like, how, how can you have that? Yeah, well, so how there you are just... players spectrum thing. I mean, you there could if it was a big group boss, but if you're soloing yeah, this, this doesn't make any sense. You know, and they made combat. this a one to four. I mean, there's the other side. There are players who are experts. Um, so this this mechanic is more aimed at those I mean, who aren't I guess one thing to consider is that they make um, just for, it just goes for towards like, both extremes. So the normal mode of the content is definitely more on the easier side in comparison, whereas the harder mode of the content is on the much harder side. So that's true. They could do that. that as a comparison. You know, if you're the one it, it's kind of hard to make a like, make a good assessment when we don't like actually no, see what's happening. Yeah. It's all just projection so getting five times and less guessing. Yeah. Now, but they're going to add that type of mechanic. You know, they should have of done it through you don't need to the same way that old school did with theater of blood eventually. So yeah, where they have an entry mode, which is significantly easier, but it teaches you like how to do it. I and then obviously you have the like, normal version of it, which stay untouched, just everyone pretty much saying does. In the comments, and then the hard, hard one, what you expect, you go in, you, you really die, want to go that extra mile. Uh, nah, that's they've they've been doing that in R three a lot already with like Zami uh, and uh, even all the like I think that's it. God Wars three stuff. Sure, it, but, the easy, but the normal um, is a lot easier kind of, than I think, the hard mode. Uh, I will mode. talk to this a bit more. Yeah. Like going forward, what we want to do is I mean, I'm just specifically want to talk about the downing. We know there are plenty. I don't think the downing thing is is actually that bad if it's implemented correctly. Because like they're saying, yeah. If you get downed like four times. Um, you're gonna lose the kill anyways, level, probably. So it's like EVM it doesn't matter. It's that, the same thing as dying. Like, uh, for mm -hmm. sake of way less engaged with than others. Um, mostly in a lot of cases, can I be group? So I, I actually, um, I actually think the idea are, is pretty good because um, it solves the say, issue that we were talking about as an example, before. Because you can solo with the content. Dying is too punishing. Boss, though. Um, this, yeah. this is a way to make it so less punishing. About, like, bridging this gap. So I don't really see the issue with it. Learn, if it's yeah, it's not really it. an issue. And there are some issue, people but... who don't have the time or investment to get into it. It's so be implemented we right or else. To create a mechanic yeah. that allows you to sort of bridge that gap. I think that's the. Yeah, if it's too broken, yeah. like you just get yeah. down, you come back, you're like literally full HP, uh, um, like full adrenaline. Well, okay, probably not full adrenaline, but you know, it's just like just the conversation, the way you all go as different experts of PVM. Uh, or not, as the case may be, if you're in chat, but um, just seeing how you're taking it and thinking about all these things. You know, one of the key themes I've seen come through the chat is um, AFK. Do you have any concerns about the impact of that encouraging AFK bossing? Um, <laughs> almost, uh, you know, people who don't really care about I mean, being as good as possible and just want the lowest effort. Do we think that matters? Is that a problem? Where's, where's, what's our that's, kind of okay. thoughts on I that? I didn't the think they were going to implement... 
they're talking about putting into every I single boss, then that's for that is other really encounters, weird. I don't know. If it was to go through, then AFK could be a concern. If it was like something like Raziel, um, I don't think with the designs of the encounters in this content, AFK is a concern. Um, I think that's how I'd word it. Yeah, with this um, boss, I'm not worried if, about if they allowed AFK you to AFK content. this boss, that would just be horrendously bad. Gotcha. Interesting. Because you don't even need uh, to I guess implement complicated is, mechanics so to make it not AFK. We're, we're, we're for example, this to talk about Queen Black Dragon is one of the easiest bosses in the game well, at this point. This isn't just me for talking heads. But you literally um, can't AFK it. It's not possible. One, what is it because you have you to do the mechanics. Players, or what do you want to know about their the phase mechanics. System? Is it just a simple, hey, I like this or I like this if it considers XYZ? Like, what kind of feedback are you looking for most? Right. Um, I can start off, but you guys can jump in afterwards, maybe. Um, so first and most broadly, we want all your feedback. Um, it's all going to be relevant, whether we, um, well, in whatever form it takes. Um, so broadly, is the proposal something you're interested in? Um, I'm sure you're giving your feedback right now. We'd like to hear it later as well. Um, <laughs> would you still oh. want to be able to fail the encounter? So one thing we didn't discuss is like, if all of you fail, if all of you die, would you all just wait to respawn? Or maybe that's a fail state and you have to redo that, that boss? Um, and yeah, maybe I'll open up to Ryan and Sponge. Yeah, um, feedback on everything. We are always welcome. Uh, everything. All, I mean, all I feel like you. Should, I feel like if everybody um, dies, you, should, you things, should have to fail the we, boss. Um, but maybe just looking to advance. Um, improve opportunities for mm. players to get into combat encounters um as i'm sure you've heard enough from myself and Spines i think for sure over the last six 12 months um improving combat for everyone likely means more combat updates for everyone but i don't actually if um, you're soloing it's probably too bad DM, more like i think if you get downed and you get back up you should get you should get a you should get a, da should get uh, a damage so down like in final here. fantasy uh, we, we would love to hear from those of you like if you're going to give some and let's just be like 10 percent like so if you just keep getting down well. you're just eventually like going to do no damage like, say oh let's i kill all bosses all this sort of so stuff. it's a it's a it's um, you so technically you can't fail the fight but tech but like you basically fail the fight like you just cannot do any more damage these or not um, so, so that's very useful to us. I think it should uh, be. Of course, uh, maybe I should type this we in have chat. A lot of data behind the scenes, but we don't have. I mean, I feel like if I type this, no one's gonna agree with me. So, I, is it even worth me typing to them? Because because well, most you have people. The chat open? You, you like <laughs> yes, I have the chat open. open. <laughs> most people oh, yeah, in RS well, chat are too like. What I will say tunnel is, vision um, into RS, so they're not gonna think about all oh, how right how other games show. do it do it well. To give feedback, I, I know loads of you have already been getting involved in the chat, which we'd love to see. We're also gonna be taking a look at the chat, both during and after the show, um, to get your takes. Don't worry, this won't be lost. Um, but we're gonna have some clear destinations where it's best to give your feedback, and you can actually get involved and maybe even interact with the developers yeah. on the stream okay. at some point I'll, 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 as I'll they uh, for... are working on the project too. I'll wait on for that their note, other thing. Uh, we have two more things we're going to run past you today, both of, both of which are huh? going to be testable in a beta, which is pretty freaking exciting. Okay, um, what we got? I'm really excited about what we're betaing. Um, beta test. I think we kind of alluded to it on the roadmap stream. It's all a blur. I just remember we're so the bad. They, the they said the tier 95s. Uh, they wanted to test the tier 95s. Um, can you run us through um, what this beta is? And let's talk firstly about the weapon side of things. What is it we're planning to, to bring to the beta? What are we planning to test? Yeah, cool. So, yeah, I'll cover this. Um, so, Should bring up the game yeah. as well, by the way. Yeah, it's probably worth it. Um, like like Uli alluded to, uh, we're running a beta um, for the tier 95 magic weapons. Um, and essentially, we want your feedback on kind of what you guys want from them. <laughs> they look um, like a freaking... Two, the two and a half. The Demonheim, like, is how tier I it. 10 um, weapons. For the weapons, um, so we'd like to know what you like about the effects, um, what you think could be improved. I've already had to refresh the stream like 20 times. Other ideas for how you'd like to see magic evolve. Um, and yeah, that's kind of the core of the beta. It's essentially... Uh, like I said in guys, previous episodes. What do you guys want from this reward space, really? Magic um, should allow you to yeah, dump multiple the, abilities... Wait, so in so one what you're ability. telling me is we're dropping two tier ninety five dual wield magic weapons in Sanctum of Rebirth. They'll be make magic magical. But before we do that, you can go into a beta and there's going to nah. be two and a half variants, as you put it, uh, three different right. variants that you can access. And we're going to let players play test and basically tell us which one 
they most want to see turn into our actual final release item. Is that pretty much yeah, the yeah, yeah. I, I think that's a good it's core. It's pretty really freaking um, cool. I'm so excited about this. Um, we're not. I wouldn't say we're precious about any of these, um, and players quite often have better ideas even than we do. Um, so it'll be fun to see how they evolve, um, and fun to see, yeah, what bits players like, what they don't like. So let's go through them. Uh, are you able to run through? Give us a little sneak preview. So firstly, the beta, I believe, is happening on the 28th. Is that correct? 28th of May. Bro, isn't that when the boss June. comes out? Is that right? Uh, that's that sounds about right, and that makes me. Let like, me check my news post, uh, but yes, I believe those are the dates. <laughs> I, need, I need to get some fixes in for a couple of bugs for it, but yeah, um, yeah. Okay, that's so that's correct. target. Um, yep. Um, so Ryan, if you. Oh, Azana to just left. told me the 30th, so I, I was I was okay, basically trying to force you into an early release. Push it forward. Punch, so that gives me an extra two days. That's fine. That's fine. There you go. There you go. Um, so yeah, let's run through these. Uh... Over... Wait. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take yeah. you through it. Mm -hmm. Right, if you move okay. to the left start for a start. Is there a um, nine so second charge the on the one and um, orb? Oh yeah, my bad. Because if there is, the um, rip actually, more tick. Before we go into <laughs> this, no, 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 no. I don't, I don't know. Someone uh, in chat said that. I don't know if it's actually yeah, true. Like I, 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 oh, I, I don't fucking know. hope There's so. some people who are like, hey, what Cedric, are we seeing? Is this a player's have had better jacks than ID? Better ID than jacks for five years. Absolutely. Do you want to just explain what we're working with first before we even go into each of the concepts? Like, what is it that people are going to be picking up and finding in the beta? Um, right. So they're they're. They're very much whip items um, using placeholder assets. You can see I've just pulled over the dungeoneering ones so that you guys don't I have to find the models it. in. I knew it. Uh, I knew it was dungeoneering weapons. Each of them has their own set of effects. Um, and yeah, they are very much work in progress. There is more than likely some bugs of them. Um, I don't really want to fully flesh out and make three full sets of tier 95s um, just for you guys to go, ah, these suck, make new ones. Um, so we'll get we'll get some testable testable uh, prototypes in that you guys can play around with, and then we'll kind of get. Yeah, from I there. think that's. The, I happened? think I love that word prototype. Like sponge, for any of you who have never gone three something models, like this before, then you guys go, ah, oh, they like, suck. Kind of <laughs> I missed that completely. Uh, items that big gray blob thank of a uh, wand that you saw uh, is not the design of the T95 weapon. We might give you a sneak peek of that later um <laughs> but uh that is not the design that is just something to essentially visually be a placeholder for a conceptual design uh you know it's not the final products by any means so if you're joining us just be aware of that yeah. anyway I'm, sorry sponge i'll let you give the information people want now <laughs> which is the the set effects uh, i was gonna quickly okay. cover some beta stuff sponge while i have yep. control oh, go for I it. Talk yeah so um rearing everything is placeholder everything is um, work in progress. You can give any feedback you like. Um, we are, um, if anyone worked with us on the combat beta, you'll know that when we put something in the beta, we are happy to change it. It does not mean this is it. So, the you know, beta. things like the passive effects, the names, anything, by all means, just give us the feedback. I will reiterate it because I think it's important because we had it a lot in the combat beta previously where people said, oh my God, they're changing this. And it's what you see is a completely just an option. You know, I'm we might do none of it. Beta. Um, so, yeah. Um, Mod Ryan has added a nice NPC for not talking um, about group PBMers. Uh, PBM hub this beta specifically who sells all the wands for free, uh, sorry, wands and orb, um, and then just a bunch of other useful items, um, such as um, if you remember from the Guardian's gift, you could get these um, gizmo um, shells, which are costless. Just um, it's a quick version of, that we can put in your hands that allows you to get some of the perks you want. Um, it's not. Still, you still have to go for a bit of the re-rolling stuff, but it's the quick and easy that we can put on the beta feed right now. Uh, long term, we'd like to do more beta support features, so whenever we run a beta, everything is there. Okay, uh, they, they've been talking example. way too um, long about starting the beta. Yeah, this that's the short of it. Joke, um, like so God. in terms of the things, as, as Sponge mentioned, there are two and a half. You might say, how oh, they're two and a half? There are three, but two of them are very similar. They, they share an effect that's slightly different, um, and Sponge wanted to give you all the options. Um, so Sponge, if you want to talk through the first one, I will. I think it's insatiable. Yeah. Oh, insatiable. Well, we yeah. Um, so um, I'll, I can talk a bit about the problem with magic first to kind of explain. Okay. This. Um, but magic RNG, RNG in general, it has a very 
high burst play style right now where you hit the peak where you your slam your sunshine you solar everything all in one go and then you just you just plummet True. um so the first one and a half designs are intended to kind of fill that lull where you're you're kind of not doing anything um, yep yep <clears throat> And, and get get you back to using thresholds, using ultimates um, when you're not just in your burst phase. And how would you um, do it? My idea: dump so multiple the, bills. I'll read one, it out one in thing. case you can't read the stream for whatever reason. Um, but essentially, one global um, cooldown using non-basic abilities. abilities grants you stacks. Uh huh. Uh, stacks. And your basic abilities consume the stacks. Um, okay. When you do this, your what? basics generate extra adrenaline. Um, I think. Right now, it's a 25% extra, so that will be from 8 it to is, 10. Yeah. Um, it's worth noting that, again, all the numbers in this are placeholder. Um, we care more about how you guys feel about these, not how powerful they are. It's very easy to make something no, more or less powerful. The it's charge is on there. Right. Um, so we very much want your feedback more on the feel than the power. Let's go. Um, and then when you have both items equipped, um, whenever you consume one of those stacks, um, so reduce the cooldown of your wild magic. Everyone's saying seconds. remove charging. <laughs> um, the idea is you kind of get into nope. a phase of casting wild magic or some other ability. Nope. Going basic, basic. My four tick on attacking. Basic, basic. Wild magic scattered up, like you ash get this in the wind. Threshold spam. No. Um, which plays pretty nicely. Um, I'm sure some of the top end PVMers on there are going to see charging and freak out um, yeah. because I know. Quite, quite, it's quite vocal. A lot of people don't like the charging mechanic. Ch um, Chat again, definitely this, asking about charging. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Again, this isn't set in stone. This is more... Um, we want players to get a feel for the weapons as a soul item, not... I'm going to for soul, then I'm going to switch to these for one cycle and start doing my thing. Um, we want these weapons to feel nice standalone. Um, okay, I will say, there Maria... There much is a chance we'll pull charging off. If um, they put this charging thing in the good. game... As they are without fracture staff will go up because people need to put them in left. EOFs. It's gonna be EOF fodder. Um, so I don't know if you wanna. So fracture staff is gonna freaking freaking skyrocket. So we um, need a bunch more. So non basic abilities though? generate stacks. Um, yes. Because then you'd be six. getting the auto attack damage so of had the, the one and or. I mean, it's it's better than we'll losing the entire effect, like just not using the wand orb effect at all. You, uh, you should because the charging for means it's like you you have to wield the wand and orb on like the guess. whole time, or else you just don't get the, the effect. So if you're gonna for, you're gonna four tick, or you're gonna have you're the effect. What they're trying to do is if you do it again, they're trying to keep the FSOA, so you can very much get into as a burst thing. So you use it for your burst, then you swap to this. To... No, no, you don't even need. No, 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 no. Wait, Bush. Um, wait, yeah. you're talking so, about the so fresh stuff spec. Wild magic. Just oh, okay, Bush. How yeah, long like... have you not played the game? They oh, changed that freaking an entire year ago. Okay, that doesn't. That's not how it works same. anymore. The 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 one and orb will do the same damage as the fresh staff from the extra hit. Oh really? That's, that's yes. the base okay. the base version. So they want you to they want mm -hmm. you to camp the wand um, and like you only need to use the uh, fracture staff as a spec already, weapon awesome. so at that point Remember, you would just mm, put it on your necklace because because you because if you switch the staff on you lose the charge for nine seconds um this is it make no sense because that's nine project. seconds of when you're in the sunshine so you have you have to keep it as an eof so thank you uh for many of you get that in chat i know but for those of you who are not used to this from us yes this is actually a thing we're trying it's we promise this isn't kind of a oh we're doing this but we kind of want your feedback near the end of the project with limited time we actually uh, uh, built this into the project so, so fracture really staff is going to become a freaking yeah, some other examples here eof well. item um, <laughs> when we put this in the beta it's it's hard to cover uh, as designers or try to explain as much my died staff is in shambles how do i phrase <laughs> it sometimes you as a player you might think that's obvious why did they miss that but sometimes we do it purposely in in the example of like testing, because we allow you to express the feelings that you have, it's a lot easier for you to express what you don't like in a lot of cases than what you do. So just putting charging on it, you saw how many people said don't do charging. Um, it's kind of a. You way think of if I type panic buy fr fracture staff? If we have an idea help. of what people think, we no. still put it in a certain scenario and you can react to it. So um, as an example as well, it's not covered here, but um, at the moment two stacks is the max. Um, if you were all playing with this. And you found that like you'd rather be able to get more than two stacks, you know, maybe that's some feedback you want to propose. Um, again, it's kind of like purposeful. Um, 
because you know you might come up with ideas or maybe a sphinx would it wouldn't it be cool if there were six stacks max and a sphinx did two per um a sphinx therefore you could get six stacks and then you know wild magic is you know there's loads of different versions of it it's kind of like giving you the idea and you coming back to us and saying like how you'd change it um yeah that's number one i will move to number two purely in the essence of time because we have a whole bunch of stuff we'd like to talk about uh, yeah i just do, completely yeah. didn't understand what the first Sweet, effect i'll move did. over so were you guys even wand, Norb. It's exactly the same. I was not paying except, attention, um, to be honest. Oh, no, we'll, we'll, we'll see it later, I guess. Consuming Insatiable has a 25% chance to refresh the cooldown instead. So this is a bit more um, Great. RNG related. More RNG than, effects. Um, That's what we need for magic. More uh, RNG. So like previously, the one I don't, we were just no, testing dude, reduced the cooldown. Get, one get rid of that. We do seconds. not need more RNG This one has magic. a 25% chance to refresh it. Um, so it does mean in a regular rotation... Um, yeah, I, everyone in magic. chat is saying like no, like get rid of the RNG. Why do we perfect. want like so just to wild just magic chained wild magic? Hope that thing um, activates. So that's like an RNG approach. Don't, to it. Uh, don't play and DPS in Final of, Fantasy then. Uh, definitely a lot of high level. Great, that, about, like, <laughs> that's um, great, good. Again, great news. Good round is good and bad. Depending well, a lot of DPS you have, um, but you have proc based yeah, ones and non proc based ones. They each kind of fill a different niche. We don't talk about the answer. It's, it's, it's kind do. of exploring that no. um, reactive gameplay. Do we talk no, about the, the one pool where you forgot to stand? Really have, or you're like, um, did you forget her? Did it like time out before? Um, you uh, where we can add the that, game hitched um, them as an one example, second, and it didn't um, activate. Like we said before, nice. uh, the numbers aren't set in stone. Um, they're very much all just kind of at a baseline, so that once once we get a feel for what you guys like, we can we can up or down the numbers. Um, but being something reactive in RNG, it's likely that we'd have more wiggle room for more power on this sort of thing. Um, so it could be, as an example, uh, when it procs, the next wild magic's enhanced, and the cooldowns refresh, something like that. Um, so you kind of you kind of get these these big reactive gameplay elements that really reward you for reacting in time. Just to let you know, yeah. Sponge at the moment is a hundred percent. Yeah, 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 I know. There's a bug in for that, don't worry. It's I was going to say, there's Please no way I'm that lucky. That's the best part of RNG, right? <laughs> if you are, go buy a lottery ticket. Yeah. <laughs> I'm slapping all the hamstrings. Um, sweet. Um, and then, would you like to talk about the third, third and third one? Yes. Um, so, the third one, um, I can't remember what it's called. Corruption, that's right, um, which is a little unthemed. Um, but essentially, this is a okay, what is this? Um, dot based. Uh, set but in a different kind of way. Um, okay, bleeds. So the, Why? The single item equipped um, just ups the damage of your combust and corruption blast. Um, we want again, bleeds on magic right now. Again, um, you guys can give feedback on what you consider dot. Um, Interesting. Stuff like magma tempest does a bit like. I mean, is I guess dot, is not, Yeah, is magma a tempest a, it could, it is a bleed? I don't think it really is. It's not a isn't. bleed because um, it's, it's in an area. But then it's it gets still really interesting with the second effect. Time in a um, way, it's a lot of That's true. This one. If it's, if it's, um, yeah, so if it's whenever not... one of your dots I think it should count as a target, uh, you start building stacks um, between 1 and 100. And then at different thresholds, you gain different effects. Uh, the tooltip's bugged at the moment, so I can tell you what it does. Um, so from one stack onwards, um, your damage over time abilities have a chance to empower, which makes them do all their damage instantly. And then refresh the cooldown as well. Um, so you've just seen that there. Ryan combusted. Okay, that's freaking did disgusting. All the at one go, and then refresh the cooldown. Um, again, so you get this reactive element where you can start with a string of good luck. You can start spamming it off. You can combo it. To but I don't. I don't like the RNG. Chain. Chain. Um, little bits like that. I. Um, the 25 stack effect uh, adds flat damage onto basically all your abilities. Wait. <laughs> um, so this Wait, this guy brings a good damage. point. Like, Apparently why are you talking about Magma Tempest when you can't cast it with the wand and all? <laughs> magic level. Um, so this yeah, you kind of need a freaking really well staff to use Magma hits, Tempest for some reason. Time. Magma Tempest bits like that. I did not know um, that. That's so once stupid. Once you stop building up to a large amount of stacks, you can get some. Yeah, some you, you cannot cast with the wand and orb. So like, um, they have to either change Magma or like, I don't know. The current maximum. But it's basically just which will. Thunder cloud. Which your basic ability to start gener generating yeah. adrenaline over time. It's you don't know what that means, Andy? So if you. No. Only a, a dot in what, one something. area. Um, Mainly bleeds are not zero, a certain area. Then cast like a yeah, exactly. You'll get the initial 8%, then you'll start generating over time as well. Um, so yeah, it's a. 
dot focus set but in a different kind of way not really like uh the melee form it's kind of a more of a more of a combo and rng um or reactive i think i think reactive is probably better way of framing it than rng um but again all the numbers there completely within feedback limits um it could be 30 percent chance it could be one percent chance it could be 75 percent chance to refresh um just trying to get that um that reactive gameplay into combat um and reward players um for wait making use in of the beta the tools that, as they come up I like magma is not great. Yeah, it is worth so did they change yeah, magma? Sorry, I mean, they must have. No, no, if... sponge. If you support, please go. I, I was gonna say, um, so the current like, plan is for them in the to screen have special like... attacks as well, um, but we don't want to mm -hmm. design those until. So they maybe have changed it. Set effect we're going with. Um, so as an example, if the corruption one was chosen, we could do a special attack that is some form of dot. So that then synergizes in with it. Um, if the insatiable one was chosen, we can maybe have a special attack that you get to cast multiple times, so you can keep gaining those stacks um, from a single source. So, uh, you have been given a run through of those three concepts. Again, these will all be listed on news posts. Um, mm. We are looking for you to get hands on with these. There's a beta yeah, I can't on May really 30th tell. running to June 6th. Just we have the opportunity Why is this concentrated to blast you know how also grayed out? Um, give feedback on these things uh, and help probably us just like make you, design decisions around probably where Probably because it's like these. freaking bugged um, or something so and they like put it in but they didn't unlock it or an something. An involving conversation like on those once the beta gets started. Not this Thursday, but next Thursday. Um, conscious that, one, we want to sneak you a little bit of an in-development preview of uh, Sanctum of Rebirth. But two, there's one oh, more so subject it probably we is, on, that uh, over that will also They be didn't toggle the thing to unlock greater concentrated blast. But they didn't like update the thing to put regular concentrated blast back. So it just shows the greater one and you can't do anything. Hey, just can't grade out. And what's going on with it mentioning Magma Tempest? Does someone want to talk us through what is the third element that maybe we're looking at in the What? Sorry, the Did you see that? Yeah. I'm happy to cover that unless one of the other guys. He put the to. staff on and the uh, G Kong went back but, on. So we're not sticking to this by any means. Are you this flipping is kind it? of experimental and we just want to get feedback on it. Um, but we have flipped where Magma Tempest, Sonic Wave, and Great Concentrated Blast belong in magic um, in that Sonic Wait. has moved over to Dual Wield, Magma has moved over to Dual Wield, and Great Concentrated Blast has moved over to Two Hand. Um, Wait, why? A number of reasons for what this. Why flip um, it? And before people start freaking out, we're not we're not committed to this. We just want to play with it and experiment a, with it and get immediate polarization feedback. in the chat, by the way, and lots of question marks. Um, so I want to see greater concentrated blast issues with magic. Use with One the such issue is that it has a just like you just like freaking flick your staff like, three times really <laughs> fast. Like, how does it even make any sense? No, no, no. It's like the like, wannabe like anime people who like when they like do like the weird like stored staff movement in real life. Oh, you put like a staff spin like. Put my in my AOF now so that I can use the new weapons with the spec. I'm just saying. And part so of if you can't, great, if they actually blast, flip like, it and you can't use Greater Concentrated Blast with dual the dual wield, wield right? so that would that would make sense. That would like really the destroy the dual um, wield. Like the... it means you can much more easily camp for Soa, and it makes sense because all of your crit stuff is there and accessible. Um, you're not incentivized to go and swap over. Um, yeah, just something we want to experiment with. Something we want to ask. I think is, I think ask is the right term. Is if something like this were to happen, what would you want to see from either two hand or dual wield to kind of make the change more approachable? Because um, we appreciate it can be a bit. I don't bit like what they're doing. Suddenly have all the stuff over here. I understand what they're doing, but I don't like here. it. And I'll explain uh, in a little bit. As an example. Uh, like oh, could you do something with Sonic so that it makes it has more of an identity with dual world? Right. Could you do something with X so it has more of an identity yeah. with two hand? Um, Going to be some thing. Sailor Just Moon kind of combat where they're drawing uh, it in the air with their weapon. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 this is the 
the most staff flip. provisional of the changes. It's Not got the least kind better. of direct All relation they did in many respects the pictures, to nothing Frank else changes. Release, right? like, it's <laughs> right. like, it's <laughs> you still do like the double do arm movement with the staff. This is yeah. something yeah. we can take time over. No, no, no. So you still just do the like every thing you do is still just sonic. Very provisional, but it just shows the picture for concentrated blast. Yeah, doesn't make any sense. We don't necessarily have the time to talk about it right now. Like you're concentrating really hard. Um, and just I throw a concentrated blast, thing. or you oh, throw a sonic wave, death. it just hits three uh, times. Some, this is for an some reason. To make your world <laughs> oh my god. Um, because just, just to add a tiny bit of clarity. Hi, I'm Snow Kitsune. You're watching the Disney show. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> is what Spinder is alluding to, which is quite. Um, That'd be perfect. It might make sense at a high level, but for an. Even if you just assume like your average player buys a fracture stuff armadillo and they want to use their crit ability and they realize they can't, it doesn't make it doesn't make much sense. Um, this is just an example. We're purely flipping them. There is a world where maybe I'm not saying we will. Again, everything is subject to change. What if Greater Conk is actually just viable? It doesn't. It's not weapon locked. You can use it with dual wield and two hand, for example. Um, this is more about building identity around um, these things, like building into. Weapons, um, swapping two dual wield from Fractured Stuff Army as an example will still be viable at a high level, but maybe it's not every every time G Conk is available, swap, you know, swap. There's just a lot more we can do with it. It's very difficult to talk about the full designs, but it's more about just the, the opportunity of changing these things. Um, and an additional note that I was going to mention as well is that uh, we haven't really talked about this. Again, it's maybe a spoiler. I don't know. It's not really a spoiler, but we haven't spoken about it publicly yet. Um, we're looking more towards like t our tier 95 weapons, so fracture stuff, armadillo, you know, lengs, bow of the last guardian, etc. Like classifying them a lot more as like legendary weapons that they are, um, and building okay. around them. Like they are the items you want to earn for the style, and you build around them. That makes um, what sense. What do I mean by that? Just as an example, maybe Carapax wrist wraps could have actually improved the special attack of fracture stuff, armadillo. Or if Fretch Stuff Armadillo had a passive, maybe Carapex Wrist Wraps would have built a, a, okay. a bonus around it. So um, it's about building around the weapons um, a bit more with very specific items. It means that like we can release, for example, a pair of gloves that are very specifically um, boost that. Like maybe one day you have seven pieces of equipment and they all boost Fretch Stuff of Armadillo. They're built around it. It's all about time and the essence and the passive and the special attack. I mean, that's um, interesting. That's kind of uh, where we want to go. It's nothing to do with this update, but it's kind of just giving some clarity. Um, we need, we need more time, really. Oh, oh you, you don't, you're talking about the, the, the <laughs> um, staff thing. Okay. Yeah, because we don't. Every, every did it way too late, sorry. Um, if you have any feedback, again, as always, please tell us. Um, this will be clearer when it's in the beta. We'll have direct conversations with it. Um, I think I'm not even in charge of the stream, but I think it's probably worth us moving, if that's okay. Um, there were some comments in the chat that I wouldn't mind picking up, really, from earlier. Yeah, Pretty go for it. Yeah, absolutely. Right? This was what we were going to go to next, is just answer questions, so please do. Um, so there was a comment earlier about bad luck mitigation, really, like a lot earlier in the stream. Um, with with our comments of, like, going forward, um, we okay. want to, like, improve bad, combat. Bad luck mitigation is very um, good. With that in mind, like, the idea of super, super rare drops we, it is our, in our minds. Like, Look at my uh, Raksha log. You know, you tell me no one wants I don't need bad luck mitigation. Hundreds, you how long it is trying to get oh, a specific God. item. So we are thinking about this. Maybe bad luck protection isn't the specific implementation, but we are aware of like these things. Is there better ways of earning items? Um, so yeah, just for reference, it is on our radar. Um, can we start talking about some other stuff? Is that right? I just yeah, yeah go for it. So, honestly, uh, we we've got sure. not, not got a ton of time, so just fire away, Ryan. Good. Um, okay, so by all means, anyone jump in here. I'm going to ask our lovely stream producer if they could bring up maybe... Oh, can we, can we... This is the sponge and pigeon. Can we show the concept for the weapon? See if I move that? Yay! Just I don't, don't, don't want to see that. Oh, <laughs> why not? <laughs> it's we bring a behind-the-scenes stream. So. What, is, what yeah. is the concept? Oh, sorry. Oh, what have I unleashed? What have I unleashed on the world? <laughs> I, I'll get told what? off later. It's fine. Um... So what? yeah, so everyone was saying, "Oh, hey, it's not like those a freaking things, those fan." So here's That's just what the heck am I looking I at? Like that. I like that. I like how it looks. You you want to be hand. wielding like a freaking? Um, we've removed some of the words. Hand fan. It gives, I it gives it me Nazebo vibes. Just, oh just to, my god! You know, not, not say too I much, mean, it's unique. But, uh, actually, I'll just give you an example. 
Uh, we've left a few yeah, different but it's Easter eggs. I like that. Jank, you, though. If you want to talk about them after. You're jank. Uh, this is RuneScape. Literally okay. everything is jank. I think, I think that's a popular design. <laughs> it's still jank. I don't care if I'm it's jank. Um, speaking of, You're jank. because we're here, um, we will move to another image. We will move to number seven. I don't know. He's like, um, so for reference, which for like doctor? A, we had like games producer. Can vibes. And I like seven, that. Please. So um, <laughs> we are not looking to release dies on release. But because at a concept level we do this work, um, and I know how much people love dyes, so we'll just show them, and at least you can take the image away and have a look oh, at it. Oh, that soul die one looks um, sick. Yeah, they are your dyed weapons. I, I still think it looks um, too close, similar to the original one. Yeah, so wait, you're telling me it's not going to look like a silver nice. maraca, like in the beta? What What is this mod, Ryan? I feel deceived. Yeah. Um, also, sorry, I do need to say, because these are, this is a work in progress, so it might it, this can still change. I have to preface it's everything with that. Um, but yes, that's that. Oh. I apologize for rushing Someone's through, like, is this a necromancy cool weapon? We Literally the top left corner. Tier 95 um, magic so dual wheel we, weapon. <laughs> we know combat, as I've said enough. We're trying to modernize it. We're trying to improve a whole Reading bunch of stuff. Reading is hard. If I could take number uh, five, please. This fully um, explains why uh, Bush doesn't read it. Like, why um, Bush plays the games the he does. He doesn't read in RuneScape. He doesn't read in Final Fantasy. I'm glad you should get that. Why would I read it? Without spoiling a lot of stuff. sounds dumb. So we are looking... You know my favorite thing you have to read is, though? Um, what do I mean this by that? This cutscene is mean, unskippable. If an ability from or the cannot be skipped. is going to hit the floor in like a 1x1, one one, a 3x3, three three, oh. a 9x5, we are going to show the area and show an expanding... Sp Sorry, this is a pure placeholder work in progress, like investigation. It will not look like this. Um, if you've played other <laughs> games, you're probably more familiar with what the telegraphing looks like. Um, this is just an example. Um, so yeah, if you think about Rapture, just as an example, he will spin his tail right, and yeah, this is like literally just this is final a fantasy. indicator. Like a indicator. Thank yeah, you, five God. Five. But you would see the red, yeah, uh, that's, the orange that's, on the that's floor. Very it good for the moment it hits the edge. That's for making complicated mechanics. So we can show the telegraphing like generic information, and also play on top of it the fantastical, the thematic. Oh, that rock looks uh, like, like the it's three by three. No, yeah. it's fucking five by five. I don't know if you want to talk more to this pigeon. I know you're a big yep. fan of uh, telegraphing. Now, if only they could do I that am, for both boxes, think you covered a so bit. you know how big they actually are. <laughs> <laughs> or just make sunshine an okay. actual square. Well, okay, that's fine. Just to make I'm everyone one of the hate on screen, just so hate we're fucking at it. Just <laughs> freaking <laughs> square. <laughs> uh, I am all for it. <laughs> how would death swiftness be a square? It's literally a cloud. It's literally just a room. What the heck? It's a square or a cubic tornado. I Jesus. <laughs> okay, fine. Why I'm, you do I'm, that, I'm pulling up our chat. But Looks like show. something you're cool. You're you used from I, some I voodoo. Do. Yeah. Oh, the the the, the concept one? art for That's the Trinity right. Fives. I agree. Um, it's it's the, the zebra. Are you witch doctor? Um, so, what am I looking for? What is this? You might be asking. What is this? Um, so this is an image of the floor from a boss room. Um, okay. That you saw. It's one of the boss room floors. Uh, okay. In the for those keen eyed in the roadmap infographic, you saw an arena and it had this on the floor. And um, I see a lot of comments already about TOA. So for reference, um, our Sanctum of Rebirth <laughs> is not Tombs of a Mask. I was um, gonna say there are the stuff not, did look like, like desert pantheon. There are not possible similarities in that we are. I'm just setting this for expectation. We are not making Tombs of a Mask. Um, however, our concept artist did reach out, talk to Old School um, about their Tombs of a Mascot because of the theme. There are some shared similarities. So we do have some shared visuals. I'm, I'm sure some other people also saw. Um, uh, they also saw some symbology on the walls, which was similar from TOA. Um, but yes, here is an example. So some other key things to point out here on the telegraphing. Uh, Pigeon, I don't know if you want to talk about the tiles. Uh, I was actually going to interject in a minute about the telegraphing. People are asking a lot if it's going to be applied to other bosses or anything like that. Um, it's worth noting this is purely an investigation at this point. We're going to do it for this, but depending on how it's how it takes, um, we might do it in the future. Um, can't promise we're going to backport it to everything else. That sounds huge. Um, but yeah, if it goes well, we'll use it in the future. If people hate on that update, they they need help. No, I don't. I don't think. I don't think most people are hating on it. I think there might be a couple people. Like I think most people to you. It's a good change. 
It's fun. I don't want like to most people are asking, like, oh, can I put? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> can we put this on old bosses? Something I don't think they're very will aware because of, it's um, and too much. They investment. should. Frame this, I mean, if they if they weren't uh, a freaking start, grubby, freaking money hungry company with no devs, then they they should definitely. But but I knowing Jagex, they're not going to know what you're clicking on because they they don't have more than like freaking than like ten devs working on. It and honestly probably won't take that long to add that to stuff. the old bosses, um, I'm gonna be honest. So we've been looking no, at ways you, in which you're saying that, but you look at their really spaghetti, ain't tiles, no freaking way. But in a way that maintains... Uh, <laughs> His mic is so much better than the rest of theirs. Identity, RuneScape's... Wait, who's uh, Pigeon? Visual... Yeah, visual identity is what I'd say. All I know is Ryan um, is freaking loud as frick. Since being purely tile-based. He's just like speaking into my eardrums. We've been having with the art team. Um, but as an example, you can see these gold, the gold lines on here. Um, each of those. Oh, by the way, is Bush, exactly since it's Tuesday, GC stuff um, is reset, you so you can try and get more bosses, squadron uh, rations. I already sent it up. Um, Perfect. And I have a they, 33 again, chance. They're all exactly Bruh. a tile in width. Um, so if you're clicking on a gold line, you're known. Agent? You're moving okay. exactly yeah. over a tile. Um, and it's something we've been trying to get. Kind of, we're trying to perfect where it looks good, but it also you know exactly where you're moving. Um, you can see exactly where an attack's landing. Um, okay, so they're focusing a lot more on indication, which is good like because tiles. that yeah. was the biggest um, thing that that made Vorkath like horrible. Is that the indications yeah, were really cool. so like, bad? Different. Yeah. So. Yeah, no, I was just say in so general. I'm very glad about I that. think. One of the things that we're trying to do on these streams is, and I'm looking forward to doing more of, obviously we have the three things we set up at the start of the show that we're specifically looking for feedback on at kind of a, a more kind of like focus level, but it's really cool that we now can come out and show you these sorts of things, get your kind of initial gauge on it. Um, hopefully it's something we can keep doing. Sorry, I didn't mean to jump on top of you, Ryan, but uh, I just want to say like, this is something that we're going to try and do more of. So this stream idea of kind of, going to you directly and asking you for certain feedback and also giving you a bit Sorry, behind the I scenes keep look. Lobbying. Expect to see this a bit more and it's it's been awesome to see you all in chat getting involved. Oh my god, um, I Ryan, can't Ryan, I want to make sure you have time to cover whatever lobbying. you're going to cover. Just conscious of the time. Getting near yeah, the okay. end. I mean, I'll kind of speed run it, but that's okay. The chat will say what okay, we're back, we're back. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> can't believe it. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff we could show you. Um, there's a few things we'd still like to talk about. Um, it's worth reiterating like our goals. Um, and setting like good expectations, like another elite dungeon without the mobs. You know, we're trying to learn a few things, see if we can streamline it, um, see what you think of it. You know, maybe you don't like it, maybe you do, but it's, you know, we need to test these things, we need to try them out. Um, the bosses in themselves, you're not looking to fight like Solak, then Zamorak, and then you know, like that's not what the, the bosses are. Aww, They're not like that. that really, pigeon? Uh, what's the word? You're not fighting uh, three Solak. I guess is the way of putting it. It's um, it's more about the full experience, doing all of them back to back, than it is like you're not getting like shame to be honest. Yeah, like I say, that a is a shame. followed by a Zamrak sort of thing as as those. Um, with that in mind, we are using this as an opportunity, like I said, to improve the telegraphing, to improve the the visuals. There are some stuff we haven't spoken or shown here. See but, what they should have done um, is make the uh, like, um, Rex matriarchs. Uh, yeah, you MPC can't solo. State, like, you have to fight all three of them attack. at the same time. So, mm -hmm. Not necessarily count it out. I, I think they did say, say oh, something yeah, that that was originally how it was designed, then but they were like, eh, a bit more visual indicator. Um, just a couple of these things, just as examples. Because you were supposed to like get the like iterate on them. You're supposed to just like use. You're supposed to use like you know like the range poison guys against the like magic guy and like other way around. Show a boss. You guys want to see a boss? Is that right? Oh, amazing! I, don't I think we can, I think we can leave that as a. I think I think we Let's can leave that as a little note. Some people might have eagle-eyed spotted it in our news post, so I think we can give them a little closer up look. What do you think? Oh, okay. just a visual. Ah, I want to see the then. fight. Can we get? I'm gonna go for a few images here, very quickly. Can we take number uh, okay. three? Okay, how ugly? How ugly? So you may have seen the this numbers, image. What do they mean? God, I hope it's absolutely yeah, hideous. Like this image, that's, well, that's, you not, have seen that's this not a boss. Right? That's a, right? uh, a freaking pyramid. And you would have seen it listed. Um, I think it's the graphic used for skilling boss. Um, so as I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, for those who weren't here, we mentioned that this is the Sanctum of Rebirth. Oh, okay, the this is the actual is the building. You will be entering that as part of... That does not um, look very structurally sound. This dungeon. Um, and in the in for sorry in the infographic you also saw number nine if I may. Sorry, I feel so weird. 
saying this, but yeah, can I get number okay. nine? <laughs> um, like you would have seen this ghostly... in the infographic. So this is a boss in a room. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll leave this on screen in a sec. Um, but where's the boss? Oh, I've seen a few comments around this on various socials talking about who is it, what is it. Um, so because we showed you this, we are also now happy to show you number six. That's all right. Oh. Um, Sponge, I don't know if you want to talk it's about like it. It's like a freaking rhinoceros. Um, oh, it's like Tusker. Oh, man, I, I, Tusker. I, I, don't say yeah. that without spoiling it. Um, I, think, I think just show and nod. Fucking Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> leave leave yeah. him with the tease. Leave him with the tease. <laughs> we got some Tuskers in the um, I've not seen Tusker look like that personally. Yeah, I, I, obviously, um, we're coming to the end of our, our time today, but... Um, it's been really cool to show you a little bit behind the scenes of something that's in okay, development. Okay. We've got some really specific things to go over today, but um, I hope you've enjoyed a mix of chatting along with us and kind of reacting to some of these ideas that you're going to get feedback on over the weeks ahead, and also getting a little bit of a behind the scenes sneak peek just because you came here and joined us. Uh, we wanted to make sure you walked away with something because a lot of this was conceptual and talkative. Uh, so big thanks to the team both on the stream hmm. here uh, and behind the scenes for hooking us up with some things we could show you today. Um, so what to expect? Right, so um, at the end of this show, there's going to be a right-click examine blog that will kind of recap at a very high level everything that was discussed today, and it will show you where to go. Um, as always, we're going to be paying attention across the community. Um, we are really encouraging you, though, uh, we're trying to use Discord as a bit of a home for these kind of more centralized, kind of, um, I, I guess, like focused discussions. If you are not a Discord person, you do not want to join our Discord, that is totally fine. You can still talk on Reddit, you know, or on Twitter, wherever you prefer to talk. Um, we are not saying you must go to Discord, but Discord is going to be the best place to be able to interact with the devs. And it's also going to be where much. we're going to have dedicated question so threads <laughs> and a kind of discussion room where you can also talk amongst yourselves. So if you would like to join the discussion, we do really what encourage you to go to discord.gg forward slash rs. Uh, to take part <laughs> and then in terms of the beta we've got okay. that coming up on the 30th so may 30th next thursday that will oh, run for a week during may that 30th. time we'll also have feedback spaces on our discord and again we'll also be paying attention all right we'll, we'll go we'll through the uh, new well, stuff in the beta uh, during that run and we'll also be paying attention paying attention across facebook groups x all the places we look at every day of the week uh, and all the amazing places you talk Wherever you prefer to be, that's totally fine. Uh, again, just expect if you're going to hear from our devs, it'll probably be in our, our Discord. We'll keep you up to date as we go through the process too. So we'll make sure to tell you about anything that comes out of this. Um, we don't want it to just be a one-way chat where we're kind of just coming out here saying some stuff, reading, and then you see uh, what you get at release. And then Why finally, I think the most important thing is the married couple uh, fighting. When are you going to hear more about Sanctum that, Rebirth? Married couple is <laughs> so always we'll fighting. We'll hear more about Sanctum yeah. Rebirth closer to release. Um, it's, what's happening? Kind of they're what we're going to they're, you they are project. teetering on There's divorce every single day. Here need to run by the community. We'll make oh, sure is this about that. Bush? We're not kind of yes. just limiting ourselves <laughs> yeah. for today. Um, but generally, Maria, please help me. To get that kind of full look at Sanctum Rebirth a bit closer to release. And if you remember, you have at least two pieces of content in between here and there. So we are very much in the midst of development, so give us a bit of time on that. Uh, Mod Ryan, Mod Pigeon, Mod Sponge, anything you want to end on uh, before I kind of wrap up the show? Nope. Um, just reiterate the thing. <laughs> Feedback, we love it. We love working with you, so please tell us everything. Um, also keep the, uh, the theories going around what the Sanctum is and what's in it. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for me. Are you having fun here? I think, I think, yeah. you, I think you covered it. Um, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. We'll see some players freaking out just from the stuff shown here. Um, but we're not. We're not just gonna um, fractured staff stonks rising. Um, perhaps you can take on you guys' feedback. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Look, I'm just saying. Yeah, we. I think it's gonna be really fun to. I'm just saying. Like, where we play this early in development. We don't get to see that often. It's a new thing. It doesn't us, matter so bear with what us as well. they we end up doing with with the one so, orb. Uh, thanks for being along for the ride. All I know is that the, the fracture staff will rise. An effort behind that, which is really interesting. Well, Pigeon, um, anything you want to say before we sign off? I know you're working very hard um, on this content. Nothing major. Just remember, everything is whip. We're not going live with those uh, the beach ball <laughs> offhand, as someone said. Um, yeah. 
If you ever wanted to know what strikes fear into the heart developers, you just got a picture with everyone on this on the stream being like, "Please remember it's whip. It's not final. Please <laughs> remember it's whip. It's one of the joys of bringing you inside development." Okay. On that note, so remember, uh, if you want to join our Discord, it's just discord.gg forward slash rs. We'd love to have you over there. Look out for a section called Right Click Examine, where you can get involved in the <clears> conversation <throat> around Sanctum. Uh, head to RuneScape.com right now to check out the Right Click Examine blog with all this information and then it's over to you it's over to you on your feedback on what you think of the dev system for normal mode and what you think of those changes that we're going to try out in the beta again please remember we definitely want to hear opinions now on the beta trial stuff but do go in there and give it a try let us know what it's like hands-on sometimes things on Bro, paper don't always play out the how same. do we have in so practice, many your feedback on viewers. play what, testing what will be super, super valuable so please do take part if you can spare the time what's happening and other than that, have a Wait, great week, Uli, Capers, And I have to ooh, say one ooh. more thing. Because we're asking for feedback, I forgot. We just had it. Um, each dungeon, sorry, each dungeon, each boss in the dungeon will give you loot. So it's a bit more like ED2 in that you there is loot from each boss versus like ED1 or 3 where there is uh. not. I'm adding that. What do people think of it? And also the ED concept of group scaling... You know, boss drops is too rare in groups. That is not a thing here. How do you feel? You turn up with your friends, have a good time, get drops. That's it. Thanks. Sorry, Hulu. We've... <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Uh, this is this is great that we have more questions to ask, to be honest. Uh, it's not in the blog, but Mod Ryan has come in and dropped some bombs. So uh, definitely on those bombshells, we will end. And uh, hopefully you can give us your feedback on that and we'll see if we can get added to the blog. Um, this is what it's all about. This is all it's all about working with you. It's a good thing. Okay. Thanks everyone. Take care. See you soon. All the best. Okay, interesting. So I want to close this video that I'm gonna inevitably make with a couple of comments that I wanted to make while they were streaming, but I didn't want to like freaking hijack it. So, firstly, we already talked about that the the new death system that they're planning on incorporating could be implemented very poorly and then it would make the normal mode be a joke where you could just like get down and just come back and just kill them uh, you know so it just doesn't matter everyone's just gonna you know farm normal mode like crazy but it could be implemented in a very good way where there is a punishment for getting downed so you can't just like rely on getting downed like you can't just like solve a mechanic that that just does a truckload of damage you can't just you can't just solve it by just getting down like that doesn't make any sense right so there should be a punishment for getting downed so if if you have a punishment for getting downed beyond just like 15 seconds of waiting then if you get down so many times it's like effectively dying anyways so the downing the downing concept is actually a pretty good concept so i actually really like it now, they also talked about the, um, the dual yield effect, the, the dual yield magic weapons effect. And it is kind of, so, so all the, all the effects that they added, it's like, whatever. Like, it, it doesn't really matter what the effect is. It's just going to be a buff to magic. So that's good. Now, the thing that is going to matter is the charge thing. So if they keep the charge thing then I I would I would assume that four ticking is dead. Uh four tick auto is dead. You it's so bad that you you probably don't even want to switch your fracture staff fractured staff on just to use the spec. Because think about it. If you don't have the fracture staff in an EOF to switch EOFs to use it, you have to put you have to switch the staff on, press the spec, and then switch the dual wheel back on. Then you then you have to wait for it to charge for nine seconds. So for nine seconds, during your sunshine, during your fracture staff spec, during everything, your freaking dual wield doesn't work. So like that's probably not even what you have to do. You probably have to EOF your fracture staff if they keep the charge thing. <clears throat> so so yeah, four digging is dead. Freaking, and all of your fracture staffs need to be in an EOF. That's like. I mean, if anyone if anyone disagrees with that, like you know, here or in like the future, let me know. But like, I cannot see see a scenario where that's not the case. 
If they keep the charge thing on the dual wield, you have to dual wield it the whole time, right? Or else, what's the point? Like, that if if you don't if you're if you're not doing that, that you're just using a tier ninety five with no no with no effect. It's just like basically almost the like before the same as before with like the tier ninety twos. Um, they were talking about flipping the Greater Conk and the Greater Sonic Wave. That's just so jank. I have no idea what that even like why that's even a th idea because it just it just it's just so confusing now they were saying like oh we have an argument for it but like i don't know what the argument is um <laughs> i know people some people were saying like oh just unlock the abilities so just just don't make them dual wield restricted or or 2h restricted but then that brings another issue the other issue is like then why are there multiple weapons? Now, I guess... I guess your argument is like, oh, there's multiple weapons. Like, sorry, not multiple weapons. Why Why even Why even is there dual wield and 2H at that point? Because, like, th there's no, like, difference between them. If, if, all the, if all the important magic abilities are just... You can use them with every single weapon... There, there really is no reason for them for there to even be dual wield magic and then and then two H magic. They're all just the same. So, I mean, if Jagex wants that to be the case, then they might as well just like freaking combine the <laughs> like the dual wield into like one package, you know, <laughs> and then just just remove the fact that there that there is a dual wield and a two H. And hey, that's that that's their decision. They want to simplify the game in that sense. I I, I don't disagree with that. Like I, I'm not saying I'm not saying ours is better with with there being a a, a, a different dichotomy of dual wield and two H for all the styles. But it, it depends on where they want to go. It just doesn't make sense to me. Like f like flipping it seems like the worst idea. You know what I mean? It's like either keep the differences, and then you you just have to play around them, based off your play style. Or you just you remove all the barriers so that you can just use greater con greater concentrated blast with both weapons like both any any magic style, and then just rem just completely remove the differences and that you you just have like magic weapons like there's no difference between the dual wield and the two H. That's that's just my initial thoughts and then the, then the last thing about the boss the bosses is I am disappointed with them, but I'm not like surprised because. This was, I honestly kind of figured that these bosses that, th that they announced were coming up was not in development for a very long time. So I don't think that, I wasn't even really expecting them to have like a raid level difficulty because they probably only worked on this for like two months or something like that. The way that they, the way that they s phrased these bosses, it seems like the difficulty level of them is going to be similar to the elite dungeons, which is kind of sad because the elite dungeons themselves are not that really that complicated and it's just it's just it just reminds me more of like oh it's just these like easy fights that are just gonna power creep virago power creep aod which okay i'm glad aod is getting power creep but like it's gonna power creep the, these great bosses and it's just gonna be like raziel to like 2.0 right that's that's kind of sad to to, to listen to and even more, by the way, because Mod, uh, Mod Ryan said that the first two bosses are also going to have drops. So, obviously, the, the wand and orb is going to be from the last boss. Like, like we can just assuredly guarantee that. The first two bosses still have to drop stuff. So, so, so this this boss is even better than Raziel. It's going gonna, it's gonna to drop the tier 95 weapons and then, and then something else as well. Maybe armor, maybe... Okay, okay, if it is armor, it's the same as Raziel, but you know what I mean. Like, maybe some special item, you know... Who knows? It's gonna have more drops than just the one and orb. But we'll have to see uh, what they deal with, how they do the bosses, because it is it is reminiscent. The last thing I'll say about the difficulty of this of this challenge is it is reminiscent of Elite Dungeons and and Jagex Jagex introducing more content similar to the level of Elite Dungeons, similar to the level of Raziel, is not good for the game. It does not bring players back. It. In fact, it, it might make, you know, like like a a strip of current players happy that they can do the content, but 
all all in all, it's you know if you if you only appease the current player base, the current your player base will only dwindle over time. Because, you know, people get bored of this game. People, you know, they find something else to do. And then you can only appease your current player base for so long. You have to look at how you can get players back that like this game or even, you know, look at a new market marketplace. You just releasing content that's the same as before, just just a little little bit more, like, scaled towards modern 2024 does not bring players back all this all this like oh one to four players don't worry guys you don't have friends just solo it 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 there's enough solo content in this game freaking make content for people that want to do group content it's 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 just sad to see this to be honest but again it's sad to see but i kind of expected it so we really have to look towards uh you know, 2025, I guess, when after all, they collect all of our surveys for any real group content. But yeah, that's all I have.